Hello everyone, welcome to, well, to, to week two of Project Live. Um, so this video I'm just doing a little bit more of a how I choose my embellishments and things like that. And here I'm showing you how I print my photos onto my Hello. selfie. I do have Miss Eleanor with me again. So the week two is standard 3 by 4 and then I, I cropped that um, picture down with the eggs down, I think it was two and a half by two and a half. And then the rest are, are four by six. And then on this one, I took these two, and I think they are just shy of two by two. Um, because I didn't have very many photos for the week. And so I wanted to make some of them smaller so that I could use them um, on different, for uh, different journaling card type things. So I sped it up a little bit here. I still have my... Um, well, it's not sped up yet, but this is how, again, how I lay out my things. and I just get a general idea for which type of pocket pages I'm going to use and which photos are going to go where. And then I'm zooming out so that you can see this big pile of stuff on my desk. And this is, this is what I do, and it looks crazy, but there's definitely a uh, method to my madness. I pull out just a lot of different things that I'm using. Again, things that I've been using previously to just kind of keep a theme going. And then also things that are almost all used up so that I can try to, to use them up during this process. And I just throw them in a big pile on my desk. And then I just go through and I sort them into different things, like different flat embellishments, different dimensional embellishments, stickers, labels, things like that. I've got my two mini kits there that I use. I definitely recommend if you don't like having a ton of every single journaling card, to go with the mini kits. There are some great designs out there and um, you only get two I think of each thing so I don't feel like I'm really being repetitive if I was to even use them on the same spread. So again I'm going through and <clears throat> I am just picking out my um, I'm, I'm just kind of gathering my things together. I've got my flat stickers there. Down on the bottom I have some 12 by 12 sticker sheets and some letter alphabet sheets and things like that and uh, my phone's buried underneath this huge pile of stuff there uh... that's just a paint thing that i use whenever i i'm doing any kind of painting which i'm not on this one but uh... It's just some labels label um, die cuts that are from like package not packaging but packages of them that i haven't completely cut out yet <coughs> excuse me and then I have this basket, and this basket's kind of where I just throw lots of odds and end things. So I just kind of sort through there. I've got some washi tape laid out, a stamp from Coco Daisy. I've got four different washi tapes. Kind of going with the, with the colors in the photos. I've got some black and white baker's twine that I end up using. And then two of my stamps that you can find in my shop that I chose this moment. And the I choose with the, the line underneath it. So, um, and then, you know, in my, in my shop, there's a little bit of a story behind both of those stamps, but um, whenever I get to the one that I use, I will, I'll show you, I'll kind of tell you the, little, the story behind the photo. So, um, I've got my guides that I've drawn out that I use to, um, to just kind of help me lay out my photos, and I just took plain white computer paper and drew them on here. And it helps me to just lay them out so that I can see how much space that I have. Uh, sometimes in the past, I've had like a 3x4 photo. And with a selfie, it's not a true 3x4 and it's not a true 4x6. So you kind of have to keep that in mind uh, whenever you're doing things. And there's been times where I've added on layers of embellishments and then got it into the pocket. And it's either been too long or too short or whatever. So with this, I can lay the photo in that space and then see exactly how much room I have to work with. Now here in a minute I will speed up the process like I said before so that I can get through the actual embellishing part of it a little bit faster because the main point of this video was just, just kind of give you my process of how I pick my supplies how I lay out my photos, how I crop down some of my photos to fill up more space. Um, I'm really liking the week cards that I created. It took about two seconds in Photoshop to do and it's just something that's consistent from week to week that I, I know is simple that I can uh, kind of embellish up if I want. Week one I added some ribbon, this week I add some washi tape 
and um, it's just something fast, something very, very fast that I can do. So now I'm just going through, laying out my photos, trying to figure out how I want them, where I want them. A story about the, the eggs, that photo, I saw on a blog, and I think it was from the Pioneer Woman, about how her husband wouldn't marry her until she learned to make eggs in a hole. And I'm like, what in the world is that? Because we eat a lot of eggs around here. It's Adeline's favorite food. And um, it, I felt, I mean, it was just ingenious. You just cut a hole with a glass or a biscuit cutter in the middle of the bread, and then you cook your egg inside of it. And it is so good. Oh, my gosh. We made um, BLTs the other day, and I used, I wanted egg on it. And so I just used the top, like I made one of those and used that as the top piece of bread. And it was probably one of the best BLTs I've ever had. And so from that kit, I think it's the flea market one, um, there was a card that said currently obsessed. And so I thought that was perfect for this picture because I am currently obsessed with this food. I think it's really cool. Um, I do end up going back and cutting the photo down though because with the white edges that I left around it, you couldn't see a lot of, you couldn't see the whole words. And I wanted it to all be seen. So... So I just go through both of my little core kits, or not my core kits, my mini kits and some of my other things. I'm really trying to use these right now because I want to get through them. Are you saying hi, Eleanor? Eleanor is running a fever and my husband has had the flu, so I'm really hoping that she's not getting it. But she's also chewing on everything in sight, so, and she acts happy, so I'm going to kind of attribute it to teething. So fingers crossed that that's all it is. But I go through and I just figure out where I want journaling cards, where I want filler cards, and things like that. And I loved this card with the bow tie. So I stuck it there, and it, it's got the same colors as some of the photos. And then we went through the polar vortex or whatever it was called, with like negative 30 degrees with the wind chill this week. And um, so I made sure that I took a picture of the like the uh, AccuWeather thing on my phone and then also of the, the temperature gauge inside my car because they both said negative four and I didn't know that my car read negative numbers but apparently it does so I definitely wanted to document that because that was something really important the other pictures are um, Eleanor eating prunes and she was just giving me this really funny face Adeline <clears throat> being all daredevil on the couch and then she has this toboggan that she loves, I and mean, sometimes whenever she finds it and puts it on, we can't get it off of her. And then just with my, my fitness and dieting, I've got um, a picture of some quinoa that I made, and my favorite snack, which does have some calories, but, but if you're okay with calories for a snack, um, it's the Jif silk, chocolate silk to go with a, a low-sodium rice cake. It's the best. Eat it every day. And then the bottom photos, I got the gold contact paper on Eleanor's, or not on Eleanor, on Adeline's bedroom wall. I finally got those put up, and I love it. And then Adeline was trying to be helpful during my fitness routine and decided to sit on me during the very last ab circuit thing, and I thought I was going to kill her. But Landon snapped the picture, and it turns out to be really cute. And then the last one, every day I take a picture of... Um, <clears throat> my feet next to my weights after I work out just and I post it to Instagram and to my Facebook just kind of as an accountability I do have some people thank you I do have some people who ask me if they don't see it uh, where's your feet picture and so it's been kind of nice if you're interested in my Instagram it's just a O'Banion and I will link it below I'd love to have you follow me there I, I post a lot of sneaks of work that I'm doing and and stuff like that so you might enjoy it and even if you don't, you know, it's nothing too exciting, but I would enjoy having you there. All right, so now you can see I'm just going through. I've got all my cards laid out. I've got my photos laid out. I've got that ampersand sticker on the other side. And I'm basically just starting the process of laying things down. Figuring out what would work where. I've got this noted or note thing that goes up there with the eggs and you saw me playing around with the tag or not a tag but a tab trying to figure out what would work where what I could layer where to get the the best layering effects without um, going overboard I like this navy arrow down below on the feet with the weights picture 
Um, one thing that I would challenge you to do is, it's something that I've challenged myself to do personally, is look for ways to add things to photos without being afraid to cover part of it up. Um, for example, in the past, I would look at the, the picture of my feet with the weights, and I would think that I couldn't cover any of it up or I'm losing the integrity of the photo. But in all actuality, covering up some of the pants isn't going to ruin the photo by any means. So I just went with it and I covered it up and, I, um, <clears throat> and I'm fine with it. And you'll see down at the very end of the video what I do for some journaling there. I've got these labels that I can just cut out. They're uh, just pattern, or they're um, paper, nothing special. They're not stickers or anything. And I've got those that I'm laying down. And this is just my process. You can see it's not very fast. Just going through things. I have no rhyme or reason. I added that uh, transparent photo frame up to the top with Eleanor kind of give it some dimension. I've got just going through looking at all the different die cuts that I could use. The point is that there is no perfect way to do this. There is no way that's going to win you an award. There is no way that's going to get you, um, <clears throat> I don't know, it's, it's whatever works for you and that's I think more so in the last six months or, or so, I've really began to develop a sense of my style with scrapbooking. And I always, I've kind of known. I mean, I like layering. I like um, symmetry. I like bright colors. But maybe having the girls as close as I did and having such a limited time, I've had to simplify. And I've had to really decide what's important on my project live pages, what's important on my layouts and go with it and learn to work within a confined amount of time instead of having gosh I remember the Christmas before I had Adeline it was Christmas break and I would spend hours upstairs finishing my my 2000 um, my 2011 project life and everything was so beautiful and so embellished because I had the time now I'm lucky to get an hour once or twice a week to be up there and so I've learned to make my time count and we're all in different walks of life. We are all in um, different different areas of, of time. We all have different areas of time, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And some of us are in the time of our life where we do have hours to commit, and some of us are not. And I love how this hobby and this way of documenting our life reflects all those things. And 20 years from now, whenever my kids are gone and, um, you know, and I, I have the time, I can't wait to see what my scrapbook pages look like then. So now I've sped things up. I figured you were probably tired of looking, watching me very slowly go through everything. Um, and I'm just, I'm finishing the documentation process. I've got that tag that I cut down that I actually already had cut down that I shoved behind that photo of the eggs. And I'm looking at some letter stickers, looking at some, that page right there is actually from a baby like a, a baby line that I can't even remember where it was from. But um, I was looking to see if there were any words that would describe Eleanor or Adeline from that. And of course there were not. Going through my good old sticker books. I think I've had those out in every single video that I've ever created on this channel. I think at least at one point you probably see me flip through the exact same things. And it's not that I don't get new stuff because I do and I, I like I, I stick it in in random places like that was from a, uh, I don't even know, I guess Coco Daisy kit. But um, <clears throat> I, uh, I just always go back to those because it's things that I want to use up. Like I don't want to have just five stickers left in a sticker book every time that I go every time I make a page I'm constantly thinking okay I wonder if there's anything for this page that I can use to try to use these up so I always kinda go to my my older supplies whenever I'm doing projects like this I liked this this is another example of covering up a photo um, 
and being okay with covering up part of it. At first I thought, I can't cover up the lamp, but chances are, sometime in the future, there are going to be more pictures of Adeline's room with that same lamp in it, and um, I'm sure it's going to show up in the next however many years that she is in that room that I'm taking photos in there. So. I'm not too concerned about the fact that I covered up part of the lamp. Now, the old Amanda would have been like, oh my gosh, where am I going to put this sticker because I can't cover up the bed and I, I can't cover up the toys. I am so sorry about this baby making so much noise. I hope it's not driving you too crazy. Um, she is super cute, though. If you could see her, you'd just be like, oh, that's okay. Because she's, uh, she's pretty adorable, if I do say so myself. She still has red hair, and if you have ever seen, which I'm sure you have seen, photos of me and my husband and Adeline, we do not have red hair. So she, um, never in my wildest dreams would I have ever imagined having a red a baby, but I did. And it looks so cute. But Landon took Adeline to the grocery store for some ice cream. Um, he's finally feeling good enough to get out. He was starting to feel a little cruddy again this afternoon, and I think that's why it was forcing himself out. We actually skipped church because he wasn't feeling too good. Um, but, so it's just me and me and the Ellie belly. So, I have that pink chipboard frame that I stuck on Adeline's face on that one because she looks super cute. And now I am going to start um, just taking it piece by or page by page and putting it together. And this is exactly what I do. If I wasn't filming it, this is exactly the steps that I would still take. I wanted to show you my exact process. So I would lay out all of my, um, kind of my guides, lay out all my photos so I can see what it's going to look like as a whole, the big picture. Then I would um, go through and pick out all my paper embellishments. Notice I just did paper, like die cut type things. I did not start adding in. Sorry, I had to move my computer because it's about to die. I did not start adding in any real 3D embellishments. Um, not a, a ton of them anyway. And now I'm going through. I'm adding, adding my journaling. Talking about how Christmas break got extended by two whole days because of the snow. And the Arctic polar blast. Kind of nice, but I I was definitely ready to um to get back. I love my girls and I love every minute that I can spend with them. But any teacher will tell you, at least any semi decent teacher will tell you that they there comes a point when you do start to miss those twenty something little faces in your room. They kind of become a part of your extended family, and I was anxious to get back and hear about their Christmas stories and everything that happened. And there were a few that I was just worried about, and I was wanting to make sure they were okay. So. Stuck that little enamel dot in that bow and made it oh so cute. And now I'm just going to layer these kind of sideways on a diagonal on this journaling card. <clears throat> and I've got a date label thing that I had already put there and I'm just thinking about what to write. And I end up writing Polar Vortex 2014. Freaking cold. Because <laughs> it was. It was so cold. I went out one night. And it was the night that I took those pictures, actually, where it said negative 4. And that was the actual temperature. That didn't include the wind chill. It was like negative 31 or something with the wind chill. And I went to Michael's because, you know, I'd been cooped up in the house all day. And Landon got home, and I said, I'm going out. So went out, didn't take any gloves or anything. Parked in the very first space in the parking lot because hardly anybody was out. And it was only like 6.30. I mean, it was crazy. And I walked to the door. The doors had somehow frozen shut. So I walked from the first parking space to the door, pushed on the door to see if it would open, turned around, walked right back and got my car. And in that 15, 20 second time frame, my hands were so cold. I remember calling Landon and saying, I did not know that it was possible to get so cold so fast. And um, I can't even imagine. I'm so thankful that everybody that was working out in it got, you know, that they were kept safe and stuff because it was insane. I hope we don't go through anything like that again for a while. Alright, so um, if you remember last week, week one, I had those wood veneer hearts and stars and things like that and I just kind of scattered them around on each of the cards and you will see that that's exactly what I'm going to do for this layout too, these two spreads. 
I am. Um, I just it was, it's an easy way to add dimension. It keeps it consistent throughout all the photos, and it kind of adds continuity. Not continuity. I don't know where that word just came from. I think I was trying to think of consistency, and since I already said that, I was just being repetitive, which was quite silly of me. But oh well. So anyway, added the date to that. <laughs> oh goodness. I don't think I can make a normal video without doing something stupid. I don't think it's possible. We'll see. If I ever do, make sure you tell me because I'll, you know, make that my channel trailer or something so I don't give people false expectations. But, um, yeah. All right, so pull this one back. This is the back side of that. The picture of Adeline, I just stuck that little um, tag that says evening routine. And you'll see I think about adding some other stuff to it, but in the end, I think that I just leave it just the way it was because, oh, I do add this little uh, circle sticker thing that I cut into quarters. I do add that in there, but <clears throat> I don't think I add anything else because um, I wanted you to be able to see her all stretched out across the, the um, couch and the coffee table. It's the first time she had ever done anything like that. And these, the food thing, I think it says Tasty Treats. And I talk about how this is my new favorite food. I make it in granola. I've made, I don't even know what was that other thing that I made. Stir fry. Turned out pretty good. It takes some getting used to for me. I wasn't expecting the, uh, I don't want to say gritty, but it definitely has a different kind of a texture to it at first. But I made this granola with almonds and cranberries. It was so good. And it keeps for two weeks, so with me, it's been a good investment to make. Yep, I just add that on. Now I'm going through and adding this picture frame around Adeline's face. And I'm using glue dots to do that because I just wanted to make sure that it stayed on really well. And then the one thing that I, I kind of created without meaning to was this L shape kind of thing on this photo which was driving me crazy and um, I can't exactly it takes me a while to figure out how to remedy it I mean you can see what I did there and whenever I stuck stuff there it just it didn't feel right everything that I stuck there felt weird but then whenever I stuck the you are here thing it kind of I don't know made it seem more together and I'm just writing. I thought the these moments were perfect because all of the pictures on this spread reflect things that are happening right now that might not be happening even a month from now. I might not be eating that granola anymore. Adeline might have went from dangling across the couch in the coffee table to hanging from the chandelier at the rate we're going. And, uh, and she might think that that hat's the worst thing ever and cry when she sees it. So I don't know what my life will look like next week even with my girls because they're changing so fast so I really loved how the these moments card reflects that part of our life <clears throat> alright so Landon came back a little bit earlier than I thought that he was going to so um, I had to stop the video but <clears throat> excuse me um, so I just am going back through adding some more of those enamel dots and there's also some hearts in there and then I just stick them straight down into the page protectors because I don't want to risk getting um, getting them lost or getting things picked off of them if they get shoved underneath other things. So they just slide right down in there. And then I put my my um, my binder over to the side and I'm ready to go. So sorry about all the out of focusness. It appears that my camera was focusing on a lot of other things as I was moving around. But um, now I'm adding my journaling to that blue label sticker. Journaling about how much I am in love with the gold dots on Adeline's wall. And the gold dots definitely aren't perfect. They're not, um, you know, they're not spaced out perfectly. But I didn't really want to go for perfect in her room because it's a, it's a little girl's room. So it's not going to look perfect most of the time. <clears throat> so I just added some washi tape to kind of ground that sticker. And then this is where I end up adding that um, that uh, flare. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know that's annoying. All right, so 
I'm sticking down my tag and my uh, eggs in a hole. <coughs> Sorry again. And then there goes my um, tab and then that note sticker. Just slide it right down underneath and then I just grab my scissors and trim it off. And I do believe that, yep, and <clears throat> this is where I add in that black and white baker's twine. I stick it right in there, kind of add some texture, and um, as you can tell, the colors that I'm working with are a lot of black and whites here. And then I just do my journaling on that tag, and I'm, I'm okay with the fact that my journaling is confined to such a small space, even though I have all that extra room that I could have journaled over to the left, because I didn't want to do half and half. I didn't want to start... <clears throat> on the journaling card and then <coughs> so sorry and then um, overlap onto the tag and I didn't want to leave the tag white so I just decided to do it on there and then I added those faux lines which um, you know just kinda helped me to separate it a little bit those go in there and I am very quickly onto my last spread for this week came together very very quickly I can't rave enough about how happy I am that I went through and made the decision to um, to go to a smaller size. It, it's making me enjoy it a lot more. Actually, I look forward to getting to uh, to just pick my very few pictures that I want to use and and get them put into the album very quickly. So it took me a little over an hour. I think it was an hour and nine minutes to yeah an hour and yeah, hour and nine minutes to, to do the whole spread. But a lot of that, I, I slowed down because I was doing the teaching part of the, the first part of the video. So if I hadn't been doing that, and if I hadn't been consciously thinking about um, slowing my process down for the purpose of this video, it would have went probably a lot faster. But you can see that I, I don't just, I don't, I don't think a lot before I put things down. I just grab them and I stick them down and I don't do a whole lot of moving things around. Once it's down, it's down unless I just absolutely hate it. So here I'm just adding some more of those enamel dots, quickly using those up. Down there I've got that Y sticker <clears throat> because there are many times that I think, why am I doing this to myself? And here's where you can see how I did the journaling. I like adding journaling to my, um, well actually this is where I add my stamp in, but I like adding journaling straight to the photos and you see me do that a lot. But the stamp that I'm about to use, it says I chose this moment. And when I was thinking about the stamps that I wanted to create, I wanted them to be things that I would use and that are significant to me. And I've talked about this before, but a lot of the moments in our life we just let go. And this was a moment that I choose. I choose these moments in my life. They don't just happen. I have, you know, I control these moments. I choose them. And as stinky as they are and as hard as they are some nights, whenever it's 10 o'clock and I'm finally getting around to doing my workout, it's moments that I chose to have happen. And um, that's what this, this stamp is about, is that I chose the moment to get fit. I chose this. It didn't choose me. Um, and it's not going to choose me. If it was up to me waiting for exercise to happen, it's not going to happen. I have to make the the um, the decision. And then I messed up on the embossing. I tend to get my thumb in the way sometimes after I stamp something and I smudge it. It wasn't the stamp. It was my long fingers. So I'm trying to figure out something that I can stick there to kind of cover up that smudge. <clears throat> and in the end, I decided that I would just do a row of the little eensy beatsy tiny um, sticker uh, enamel dots so I did that and I really liked the way it came out <clears throat> so that's a tip if you uh, ever smudge something just stick something there alright so I zoomed in so you could see what I'm doing and at first all you see is my like my, seven, my big fingers but then you can see that I'm saying even though staying healthy will not be easy or, saying, or getting healthy will not be easy but it will be worth it and I just followed the, the line in my feet. All right, so I've slowed it down again, just flipping through the album. Uh, this is week two. I will be starting week three today and getting that video uploaded for next Saturday. I hope you're enjoying the series. If you are, and if you would like this to be a weekly thing, please give me some encouragement to do it down below in the comments, and I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.